Sounds like you already have Hector's help if you want it, but it still leaves you a man short if you want to even up the sides. You have any suggestions? I know I said you needed to lean on off of people, but I'm willing to reconsider. If you're willing to do me a favor. What are we talking here? I had a lot of regrets about how my WCW run ended. One of the biggest was I was supposed to face Goldberg during his legendary undefeated streak. I know I could have been the one to end it, but a match never happened after I quit. So help me get a match against Goldberg, and I'll join your faction. That's kind of weird. I mean, you just got beaten up by Slade and his crew. Shouldn't you want revenge without all this Goldberg stuff? If I'm going to put my body on the line for you, I need this win against Goldberg. Besides, it'll be a massive confidence boost for me to get that monkey off my back. Goldberg is a very large, scary monkey to try to get off your back. It's no guarantee you'll beat him. I've dreamt about it for 25 years, and in my dreams, I beat him every time, and this will be no different. Just make the match happen, okay? I think Goldberg's been training at the PC lately. I'll talk to some people there and see what I can do.
I told you I could do it. The Goldberg monkey is officially off my back. Ha! It was 25 years late, and in a training match with no cameras rolling or an audience to see it, but still, <laughs> what a feeling! <laughs> I'm happy for you. So, I guess that means you're on board to join my faction now. Oh, hell no. I was never gonna actually join. I'm ancient and just spent everything I could to pull a fast one on Goldberg. <laughs> now, I mainly wanted that match for my ego. And, of course, to show you how you can leverage favors to recruit superstars to join your fight. Like I said before, you can do much better than me. Seriously? I just jumped through so many hoops to make this happen. Well, I hope you're ready to jump through some more. Because that's how this is going to work. And it's not like you've been the most friendly, outgoing type in your time here. Yeah? So, it might be a bit of an uphill battle. People like me? Debatable. Anyway, I have a feeling the more restless you get to join your faction, it'll attract even higher profile superstars and legends to help your cause. <sighs> Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. And finally, whenever you got two wrestlers you think make up the best faction to take down Slade and his group, come find me and let me know. Got all that? Yeah, I think so. Good luck, kid. I'm gonna go celebrate my big win. But you should probably get to recruiting. Time's running out. He's no longer known as the lock, but he's as dominant as ever. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first. Representing the prime time players from Oakland, California, weighing in at 160 pounds, the kid, Tyler Hustler, Buzzsaw. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. The former lock isn't a lock for anything anymore, folks. Buckle up. It's Mr. Money in the Bank. And his partner 
from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! Corey, listen to this reaction for Sammy Zayn. I still don't understand why the WWE Universe insists on singing Sami Zayn's entrance fee. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight. Gentlemen, class is in session. That's right, Cole. Show a little respect for Master Gable and the number one guy, Otis. And at a combined weight of 532 pounds, Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. Two amateur wrestling standouts trained together before either man joined WWE. And tonight we get to watch their amazing wrestling skills, to which I say, a thank you. Tonight, we're about to see their thesis. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but the former Locke has teamed up with his WWE nemesis, Sami Zayn, to take on Alpha Academy here on Raw. The newly returned superstar is clearly doing whatever it takes to get back to the incredible heights he experienced in his WWE debut, ironically enough, against Sami. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Saxton. And do you hear that? It's the sound of Shawn Michaels' 58-day clock ticking down by the second. Basement drop kick. What impact. The damage he's taking is starting to pile up. Stand much more of this. Gable has to gather the energy and turn the tables. Gable avoids that one. Ooh, Big elbow drop. Elbow to the heart. Bump handle slam. Wicked driver. Can't go well. The last shot. Gable is completely out of it. And to Gary on the floor. Tagging his partner in now. Shoulders down. He's dominated the world, and now he's set his sights on WWE.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the prime time players from Oakland, California, weighing in at 160 pounds, the kid, Tyler Hustler, Buzzsaw. Since when did superstars get to pick their own names? I don't know, since they had conviction about who they are? You're about to enter a battle against the Prince, Finn Balor. No turning back now. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn. man has an impressive resume. Plenty of championship reigns. Yet Finn Balor continues to evolve. Pay attention to his newfound cunning and ruthlessness. Yeah, this is not the Finn Balor we once knew. Well, sometimes change is a good thing. Well, he attacks the body and the mind. The mark of a truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it. No, guys, Finn Balor has always walked the line, but recently he's repeatedly stepped over that line. Oh, come on, Cole. Finn gave everything he had to appease the WWE Universe, and what did they give him? Nothing. Balor is simply balancing the scales and taking what he's owed. But there are plenty of ways to do that, Corey. I'm just not sure why Finn Balor chose this path. But he's going to be facing one superstar who's always evolving. He told me earlier that he's looking to showcase some new moves in this match tonight. Basement drop kick. He's taking some good hits. Oh, he kicked to the face. Dowler having trouble shifting the tides. Finn really having trouble with his defense. Don't do it. Somersault plancha. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. And he goes into the... Two. Uh, springboard, corkscrew moonsault. Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Whoa. Going for broke, and it pays off. Two. Headed to the top rope. Oh, Corey, look at this. Pump handle locked in. Into the Death Valley driver. Cover! There's two! I and mean, you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Delivers the atomic draw, not done yet. Delivers a splash. Immense pressure being kept on Balor. Finn Balor's under the gun. And that was a precisely measured attack. 
He breaks the ref's count before two. Wow, I thought for sure that was it. For the win! Quick count out after one. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Yeah, and this has to decrease his composure moving forward. There he goes, right into the corner. Finn lining him up. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. That was an incredible display of offense. Now, Ralph, 16. Ballard could take this one. Finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. Balor still has the tools to get the job done. He has to remain confident and keep focused now. Uh-oh. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Split leg drop. Great flexibility. you want to see by any means. Oh, basement clothesline. Ouch. That's got to be it. Two count. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, the kid, Tyler Hoopler. Absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Dolph Ziggler is looking to make an impact tonight on Raw as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. From behind, Dolph might not make it to his match tonight. What the hell is this all about? Guys, I'm hearing there's a ruckus in the backstage area. Could you describe the ruckus, Cole? Ah, oh, man, kick to the yeah. face. He knew that was coming. <laughs> Scissors kick with authority. Elbow drop. Great height. Piercing elbow drop. Oh. Saw it coming. Roundhouse kick. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Shot. Perched up top. Fails to hit the bullseye. Oh, that 
That's a hard kick. Beginning a very ominous ascent. And he's officially got nowhere to go but down. He must have something planned as he climbs that long ladder. Up the ladder he goes. Uh, I'm hyperventilating. I can't take this. He's way up high now. Not sure I like wherever this is going. Gotten himself into a very precarious... Okay, he is not going to let him make a mockery of things. Carefully measuring their opponent. Boom! Basement drop kick. Scary patterns start to form as that upper area takes more damage. One wrong step at that height could cause some serious damage. Can someone get them down, please? Ooh, neck breaker. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker! And this backstage area is in danger of being torn apart if this continues any further. I'll say goodbye to our safety deposit because I see no signs of things slowing down. He deflects it right back. Oh my, the railing just broke and now nothing is keeping them safe. Oh man, I've seen it all now. How far is too far? Great counter! Knee strike connects. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. That holds back Ziggler's attack. Just like that, Dolph dodges away. From behind! On oh, a German suplex. And we are looking at some true close quarters combat here on this dock. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Power from the suplex. Kendo stick impact. Continues to focus on that region of the body. Shirley is pinpointing that spot. And good thing all that equipment is sturdy because there's a solid chance someone's getting thrown into it. Ooh! Ouch. Oh! Oh! Boom! Boom! Oh. Oh. And as off limits as this area may be, they are clearly making themselves at home here. I don't know what it's like at your home, Cole, but they're definitely acting like they own the place. I don't see them getting up after that. And with good reason. That brawl had shades of downtown Austin at 2 a.m. 